But yeah, I'm gender neutral. But are you a boy or girl? Bullying her, he's terrible. He's bullying her tonight, you think? Yeah. Oh, definitely not. She's been telling a lot of lies and he hasn't even how does hit it, her hard. How does it feel to be an Uncle Tom? Oh. How does it feel to be an Uncle Tom? <laughs> don't get me started, buddy. You don't you don't you don't want to mess with me on that. You're Have you even trainer. read You're Have a you race trainer. Read? Are you serious? You're a race trainer. Have you even read Harriet Beecher Stowe? <laughs> Have you even read the book? He probably doesn't know who Uncle Tom even is. Is Max a girl? Gender is a social construct. Being genderqueer with a feminine body. I'm a dude today, come on. And every time your group or your class of people, other than people of color, preach the chant USA, USA, you are pushing people away. That is always what's been going on. As we try and convince ourselves that it really wasn't our fault, I want to give a big fuck you to all the men who make my anger possible. And yes, I am blaming you. I blame all the men who think they are better, who think women don't know what hate is even when it's running down our thighs. I blame all the men who allow their friends to yell bitch and hoe while telling themselves that they are not like them. I blame you for the degradation, humiliation of my sisters. I blame you for every time you don't speak up because God knows that the hottest places in hell are reserved for those who did nothing. And I am almost sorry for every man who ever felt that feminism isn't important. Because if this is what feminism is, then what the fuck does that make you? If this is feminism, then what are you? Some guy just called me ma'am. Fuck that guy. But basically, let's go back to this line. One's male, ten's female, right? Your gender can fit anywhere along this line. So, let's say, um, most cisgendered females are usually around an eight. But that, that's easy enough to understand, isn't it? You can fall anywhere along this line in gender things. You could be sitting on 7.825, if you want, or 2.9873. It, basically, it's infinite. There is an infinite amount of genders, which is totally wicked. Now, the fat acceptance movement doesn't claim that there is no link between certain health conditions and obesity, but we claim that they're being exaggerated, manipulated, and um, there are lots of reasons for that. Some of it's related to funding, who gets funding and why, and some of it is related to body policing as well. This dude at a bubble tea shop said, oh, I like your hair, man. And I fucking cried. Shave my armpit, shave my vagina. I'll be smoother than a newborn rat. I'll have less hair than a prepubescent boy scout. If I can't shave it, I'll bleach it. If I can't bleach it, I'll wax it. If I can't wax it, I will pay thousands of dollars to have a tiny laser beam kill all of my hair follicles so I'll never grow body hair again. Stupid evolutionary development. Who needs you? Not women. Shave my upper lip. Shave my eyebrows. Shave the bottoms of my feet look at me i'm a pretty hairless decoration we fall an injury to one is an injury to all united we stand divided we fall an injury to one is an injury to all that's an interesting shirt there the future is female yes it is what does that entail exactly this is a this is from the feminist movement in the sixties and the seventies. Right on, sister. Yes. Wealthy and so we need to remember that dividing the civil rights movement. You know, the the, Ooh, the it's feminist clear. movement. It's not over. It's fluid. It's constantly that. changing. It's constantly evolving. The and rich white guy. Convincing poor white people, people the poor people of color are the problem. Yeah. And that is not okay. The equality yeah. that is now being threatened right there in that extra. People don't center. understand that. Yet. NAFA doesn't allow diet talk at its meetings. They believe health and size are two separate issues. I think by making health and weight the same thing and by confusing those two, we're damaging everybody because fat people are then the enemy. Respect my fucking pronouns. I love me some allies. You do work that I can't do. You support me in my missions. You treat me with dignity and respect. You're not scum. And that's awesome. But some of you aren't doing so great. Some of you call yourselves feminists 
and then do some really sexist, misogynist things. It means that if you get called to be on a panel, you need to ask whether or not there's a woman on that panel too. Yeah, even if the panel is on masculinity. Because just like you can talk about feminism, we can talk about manhood. We're well versed in manhood. Speaking of masculinity, could you not make everything about you? Part of breaking down patriarchal norms involves deconstructing hegemonic masculinity. But if the bulk of your feminist work is putting the focus on men, you're kind of missing the point. I've seen so many lists coming out lately like, you know, the top 10 feminist dudes you want to follow on Twitter, or like, five feminist dudes doing great work, which is cool, but then it turns out they're all cisgender. Like, I have actually seen so-called feminist guys get women to sleep with them just by virtue of being feminist guys? That's fucked up. Don't use feminism to get laid, that's not what it's here for. You could argue that feminism is supposed to be sexually liberating, but yeah, for women. Look, I'm really glad that you enjoy going down on women. Right on. But it's kind of weird when you bring it up all the time. Like, I love eating pussy. Me too. What do you want, a cookie? Will you tell your friends to shut the fuck up? Like, I know that attempted allyship is exhausting. My cousins are always posting racist shit on Facebook, and I'm like, ugh, guys, I, I don't feel like getting into this right now. But you know what else is exhausting that people don't feel like getting into all the time? Oppression. So do the right thing and say something. Hey dude, maybe when you talk about your girlfriend, you shouldn't sexually objectify her. Or, Dad, I understand that you hold this belief that women are fiscally irresponsible to be true, but I actually know a lot of women who are good with money. It doesn't take much. When you're overly cautious, you're treating us like we're fragile or on the verge of exploding, which is actually really sexist. Trump supporters right here. Man, fuck you guys and fuck Trump. What's up? Fuck you guys, Trump supporters. Fuck you. What you guys gonna do, bitches? You all pussies. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Look at this pussy. Fuck Trump. Look at that pussy ass supporter. Fuck Trump, you piece of shit. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. Fuck you, Trump. You little bitch. Fuck Trump. Fuck Trump supporter. Look at this little bitch. Look at that quiet bitch. Look at that fucking quiet piece of shit. Look at him. Look at that bitch. See you on World Star, bitch! Fuck you, Trump supporting ass bitch! Yeah! Fuck Trump! Fucking pussies! Black Wait your turn! Wait your turn! Black privilege! You should get him back in the room. Stop cutting the rug! Stop cutting the rug! Stop cutting the rug! Stop cutting the fucking rug! Stop cutting the fucking rug! You're demanding to be to be heard on the basis of what if I don't if I don't answer a question I'm racist. Yeah. 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 